Hey y'all, this your girl Princess. Listen, we about to do my face. And I was pointing at my eyebrow, y'all, because it was one was hiding the other one, but it was still cute. Um anyway, I'm going in with my NARS primer. And y'all, I only put the primer under my eye. Um I really don't like putting it all over my face. I don't know why, y'all. It's just me. I'm yeah. But it just doesn't crease my under eyes, so that's why I usually put primer under my eyes. So. And here I'm using the L'Oreal Foundation. <laughs> I don't really like it, but it worked out fine. And I don't like a lot of foundation. <laughs> One pump of foundation, y'all, trust me, goes a long way. A long way. Just my pump. And I meant to say in the beginning, I did do my uh, brows and lashes and stuff off camera. Y'all, I'm just, I was watching, um, I think Karamo, so <laughs> I was looking over at my phone. And the lighting in my, my room is, child, y'all already know my favorite spot, the flow. My beauty chair is literally sitting behind me, literally, with my Moana doll in a chair. <laughs> And you see how much, how it just took it that just, and I don't like putting foundation on my forehead. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, it's a lot of stuff that I don't do. <laughs> and I'm using Pat McGrath. I forgot the number. Um, concealer, I don't even think her concealer has, it probably do, y'all. I would have to go back and see, but yeah. I'm not a fan of this concealer. Um, I am not a fan. It oxidizes crazy. So, let me explain. Over time, it gives off a very orange, very orange hue afterwards. Like, after you said it and all that, it's crazy. Um, so, with this, that's why I would have to hurry up and, like, take my pictures and do all that extraness. But I'm not... A fan. I thank God I got this from TJ Maxx. It was only fourteen dollars. So yeah, it's it's not worth. Yeah. In my opinion, you know, you you do as you please. Buy buy what you like. I just. Mm -mm. I would take a drugstore concealer over. This. Then I'm going in with my. I think that was my Too Faced um, concealer, I think. And it's an illuminating something, whatever it's called. And y'all, I'm going to squint, 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 because baby, I tell y'all, I can't see. And then I'm going in, I think I'm about to pull my L'Oreal out. Or that was my L'Oreal. I don't know what I use, y'all. <laughs> my videos be all over the place. And y'all know I do not care, honey. Y'all still love me. Well, some of y'all. I think... Oh, yeah. So, right here. That was my Too Faced concealer. And this is how I do my contouring and... You know, that's why I don't like a lot of foundation because you ain't going to do nothing but just cover it up anyway, honey. You ain't going to do nothing but just cover it up. And then I'm using my concealer brush from Real Techniques. And I'm just blending, blending, blending. So yeah, I need a very, I need a very, um, 
a more detailed video. But I don't like talking during my makeup process. I mean, I can if that's what y'all like, but even when I did my makeup on live, I ain't really talk. I just answered a few questions, and that's what I did. But other than that, I like to stay focused and, you know, make sure it's to a T, because if I... <laughs> I can't do too much. I cannot do too much talking. I'm a perfectionist too. Mm -mm. If it's messed up, I'm going to be so hurt. Trust me, I have started over before when I lost focus or something, and it, it just sucks. Then I'm going back in with that foundation brush just to um, take away that lighter tone I put up under there so that way it can, you know, be seamless. And you're going to see towards the end, you got to trust the process. You got to trust the child. You have to trust it. Because a lot of y'all been like, do a makeup tutorial, do a makeup tutorial. And I done did one before. But y'all ain't, y'all don't want to go back down that far. <laughs> and that's okay. That's okay. Doing the same thing on that side. And as you can see, I'm pressing it into my skin. I'm not dragging it. I'm pressing it in. Because like I said, I'm not a fan of this concealer. But I must say it does have full coverage. But it just oxidizes really crazy. Like how MAC does. I hate, I hate it, y'all. I hate when it oxidizes. Because now it looks fine. But over time... It just turns into this orange, like it's, y'all, oh my God, I can't. So I will be doing an updated um, makeup routine because I am a fan of something that I found in Walmart that I have been bypassing. And I'm like, oh, I was sleeping on this. So yeah. And I'm using MAC Pressed Powder Foundation so that way I can set the lightness down some and you'll see the difference that it makes when you use pressed powder foundation to set the concealer so that way it can give it like a not a bronzy type of look but you know to make it all seamless and then I think right here I'm going in with Jaclyn Hill Cause I love a light on the eye. Love a light on the eye. The reason why I like a light on the eye is just get. It's just I can't explain it. It's just hit different, and it's just my type of style. I love a brighter under eye. I really do. And once again, you see me pressing this in. I'm not dragging it. And I just love the fact that it does not crease. Once you, that NARS um, primer, y'all, ever since I posted um, that MAC Mattifying, baby, it's been sold out. And I just cannot, I can't even get my hands on it. So I switched over to NARS, and I like NARS equally better. Like, it's, it's you know. And I'm going in with that foundation brush just to um, get away the harsh lines or whatever. I was feeling myself at that point, probably talking crazy. <laughs> and so now I'm going in with RCA setting powder to set it all. This is what the um, like movie actors and you know TV people use. Y'all, when I say, and I don't say it this time and time again, this setting powder <laughs> Will have your makeup on all day long. 
When I say all day, you hear what I say? All day. You can cry, weep and moan, baby. Who? You cry when? It ain't going nowhere. You literally have to. Baby, I can't eat. And then I'm I'm sorry. Y'all, let me get back to the book, baby. And I usually pat my face just to make sure it doesn't feel sticky. From the concealer, I have to make sure everything is, you know, to a T. But back to me bragging about this. Baby, let me tell you something. I don't get paid for this, but... Baby. And I think I told y'all once before, I put... I put it in my old Morphe container because it's better. But, y'all, when I say... This powder, mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. And then, if y'all have seen my pictures, y'all see it doesn't give a flashback. It doesn't do none of that, y'all. It's just, honey. Like I literally get stopped at work. And I think I was talking crap. I was like, with filter. Because <laughs> I think people think I use filters. And I don't. Like, y'all, this is real life. Like, my work. So. But, yes. Like, I swear by that powder. I've been using that powder going on five years. And I haven't went back since. Like, that's my go-to powder and I think I tested it a few years back and literally I noticed next but my makeup stayed on for like two days until it start you know till my face start getting oily from all the other stuff and then right here I'm using Jaclyn Hill um I think I put, y'all, I be just moving so fast. But I use it as a contour. It's actually a correcting um thing, I think. And I love, when I say love, <laughs> putting a lot of, I just, I just love a heavy contour. <laughs> I can't explain. <laughs> I love a heavy contour. It's just, it just Y'all, like I say, it hit different for me. And as you can see, I'm making it really big because I got a, you know, chunky face. So I don't want a thin contour. And I do put a little bit up under my chin area, my jawline, and then, of course, my forehead. But I don't leave it that way. I take that foundation brush and I'm pressing it in so that way it can all blend in together. And as you saw, I'm dragging it upwards towards my eye, and then I'm dragging it down. I just look like I love that look for me. It's really my my look. Like once I went there, I ain't go back. Once I go there, I don't go back. Like I just, I literally just, you know. But of course, on thinner faces, you know, don't don't go too wild like I did. <laughs> don't go too crazy. Do, do your contour thin. You ain't, you ain't got a big face. <laughs> and then for my nose, I'm going in again with that. And I like to have a cute button nose. That's why I don't elongate my concealer on my nose. Because it makes the nose longer. Like it, I just, yeah, that's just me. When you put your concealer all the way down, it makes your nose look way longer than it's supposed to be. And of course, I'm in my freaking eye. And I don't like bringing my contour all the way to my brow bone. Because I'm already chiseled enough, honey. <laughs> and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of powder. 
to bring it down soon because I don't like all that um, brownness on my nose. Just a little bit, not too much. Not too heavy. And again, I don't like baking. So I'm gonna wash this. I'm gonna wash it away instantly. Wipe it away instantly, I meant to say. And y'all, I'm petting my ass, scratch, baby. Petting and scratch. That's why I don't like doing these voice holes, because I be all. <laughs> I be all over the place. And I done said this before, and I'm going to say it again. Let me tell somebody this Maybelline mascara. You hear what I said? Y'all, I have boo-hoo. When I say boo-hooed, I'm talking about in my feelings crying. And let me tell you, when I say it's like people wouldn't think I cried, I'd be shocked at myself. I'd be like, ain't no way I just did all that crying to my, my makeup ain't budged. My mascara ain't budged. Nothing. Like, y'all, I have literally cried at work. And my makeup is not budged. I was like, do my makeup still look good? I was like, yeah. Oh, my God. Girl, who? Baby, I better pay that five dollars. Mm-hmm. Cause I used to think back then the more expensive you get, the better, but no. Drugstore is where it's <laughs> drugstore makeup is where it's at. So now I'm finna go in with my lips the most liked thing I get asked about is what I use on my lips and then I whatever oh no I didn't I didn't come over that but I used that um finishing powder or press powder it was one of them I think it was my finishing powder and it was in the color dark or something like that I can't remember y'all but yeah and sorry, my voiceover may be all over the place. It may be some things I may say that's incorrect or, you know, just charge it to the game, baby. Charge it to the game. And I love overdrawing my lips because I have small lips. Like, shout out to my mama for that because, girl, you gave your children small lips and I think my daddy looks small too so yeah I, I can't even as you can see y'all I gotta learn how to zoom in I don't think you can zoom in on iPhone so that way you can see, you know, or I just need better lighter, ain't no telling. I need better lighter. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl. And then I'm using my concealer. But this time I used, I don't know what I used right here, y'all. I want to say my Jaclyn Hill concealer in, um, I think it was a medium tan or something like that, or medium pink. It was something like that. And then, of course, I'm going back in to blend out that harshness so that we can all blend in together. And yeah, that's it, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this because, of course, once again, it's all over the place. And that's okay because y'all still love me and that's on me. I love y'all. Bye.